Hello and welcome to the fourth and final beginner Blitz Plus tutorial by Orange Moon Network. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to make a simple helicopter game. This is the first part of three and in the end you'll have a helicopter which flies up and down and to move it up you press the left mouse button. Lots of you will be familiar with this game. So if we start off with the basic graphics coding which I showed you in the last tutorial. If you missed that you might want to go back and check it out to see um, what it all does or you can just pause the video and copy it down now. So first of all we're going to have the background image and like we did in the last tutorial it's simple you just draw an image. So we're going to have global which means that this variable will be found anywhere in the program. Um, as you'll see we're using functions so we'll have various different um, category functions which do different things and this uh, variable can be used in any of them this funks tells you all the functions you have so global so we're going to call it background image equals load image now you, in here you put the name of the image it can be whatever you've called it but it has to be what it's called and then the file extension at the end so background.bmp uh, it needs to be saved in the same folder that this blitz file is found in so I'm going to draw it in paint as we're using 640 480 graphics, I've set it out um, the image so it'll be full screen. And now you can just draw your background. Um, this is one I drew before. I'm not going to spend time drawing them now. So just pause the video and draw something like that. Save it so that it's in the same folder. And now we're going to have a function for drawing this. And this is our main loop. So this is where all the program needs to happen. Um, but the functions are going to be below that and organized. So we'll have function, and we're going to call this one f draw images. Then you need an open and close brackets at the end. These you need. It can be called whatever you want. I just call it f something, just so I know it's a function. I don't confuse it with variables. And at the end of it, you need n function, as you do with an n if or n select. And remember the two words. Um, if it's white, then you know it's not command, and you've done something wrong. So we're going to loop to this in here, but if you say f draw images, and then the two brackets so it knows it's a function, otherwise it wouldn't, it would just think it's a variable. It will go to this function once each um, time through the loop. So here we're going to draw image command, back, ground image, then we're going to say 0, 0. So we'll draw a pixel 1, 1, or 0, 0, sorry. Um, and it works by 0 being the top and 644.18 being at the bottom right. Um, this is because rather than normal graphs or charts where the um, 0 axis is down here, Blitz uses it up here. So as you go up on the y axis, in fact, it goes down the screen. Okay, so now if we run this, um, it's full screen on my laptop here because um, the actual the the program that I'm using to capture the screen for some reason just draws it the top left of the screen so for me it's full screen there it's working now escape to close it there we go and now let's make the helicopter so we'll do another one of this and we'll call it heli image let's I'm just gonna give capitalize just so it looks nicer and we're gonna load image helicopter.bmp um it doesn't matter what you call them just as long as it is what the actual image is in the same folder and now let's draw a helicopter it doesn't matter the file size of the uh, so let's draw a helicopter. So just pause the video and draw one. Here's my rather dodgy helicopter. Just note that the black is what Blitz uses transparent, and so it will draw this on the background, but not with all this black. This colour here is a colour very similar to black, that you think it's black, but in fact won't be transparent on Blitz. There is a way of changing the um, transparent colour, which I'll show you in later tutorials. So now we've got that, 
rather than drawing it at zero and zero, we're going to move this around the screen. So it needs to have two variables for its x and y position. So we'll do heli x position. We'll start it off at say uh, 50 and heli y pass. Let's start it off. You can start it off wherever you want. I'll just put these two numbers. And we're going to have another function. Call it fly copter. And we'll create one here. F fly copter, and it'll go to this loop. Right now we're gonna make it so the helicopter can move around. For now, we'll just make it so you use the four arrow keys. Later on, we'll change it to the left mouse button. So we're gonna use an if command. Now, if key down, which is a command, and what this does is it um, detects whether you've got a key down. There's also key hit, which is just if you click it. So this is whenever it's held down. Now, if we go to the command reference down here this is very useful because it tells you what all the buttons are called scan codes interactive sorry this is a bit slow do do here we go now let's do left arrow as you see escapes one that's why we've got well not key hit one here so the left arrow is 203 then we'll make the heli x pass equal itself minus five so it will move that way um, you can change this number to whatever number you want it just depends on how fast it's going to be moving and now if we just do this for the others um, so you just find out the keys here I've um, already got them written down so if you just um, copy this down Right, so um, we've just done it for all of the other directions now, so you change the Y pass and minus and plus and the different key downs. So just pause the video and copy them down. And now if I run it, remember with the red rocket, um, it should draw the helicopter, but at the moment it isn't. And that is because we haven't actually drawn it. Uh, it's moving around, but if you don't draw it, then you're never going to see it. So, draw image. Make sure you draw it after the background, otherwise it'll be behind the background and you won't see it. So we're going so it's called heli image. Now you have to make sure now you do heli x pass and heli y pass, otherwise it will not move because it'll just stay at zero and zero or whatever you type in. Um, these variables move, so you'll see it move around. And here we have our helicopter which is moving around and remember the black areas you don't see because they are transparent on blitz and that concludes the first part of the helicopter tutorial in the next two tutorials um, I'll be building upon this program and making it a lot better and so you can actually play it as a little game and this is the last beginner tutorial um, because as we go further on it will get um, a bit more complicated on the intermediate tutorials so thank you for watching hope this works um, if you have any comments just post them and remember to rate this video okay thank you for watching